our future health revealed today, or at least that's the promise. Welcome to Neko's full body scanner. In a sci-fi scanning clinic, Neko Health maps the body with millions of data points, checking for skin cancer. There you go. How was that? Yeah, amazing. 2,000 images in, what, 20 seconds? Yes, yes, it was. And using lasers, radar and blood samples to spot signs of ill health, long before there are any symptoms. The founders include the boss of Spotify. His partner believes just as data has changed the way we listen to music, it will revolutionise health. Most chronic disease can be prevented or greatly delayed if you find it early enough. So we're really focused on finding the early signs that things are going in the wrong direction and helping you uh, find the ways to counteract that and avoid it in the first place. The NHS isn't anywhere near as comprehensive with health prevention. While it's good at diagnosing disease and screening for cancer, some leading doctors warn it needs to spot problems decades earlier. People don't want to talk to you about cardiac problems until you have chest pain, and then they're quite keen to talk to you. The trouble is you've picked it up too late because for the last 35 or 40 years, you've been accumulating atheroma in your cardiac vessels, but you've been asymptomatic, and so nobody's done anything about it. Other doctors are concerned that health checks will pick up issues that need an NHS referral, adding to waiting lists, even if they ultimately turn out to be insignificant. And while Neko Health charges almost £300, celebrities like Kim Kardashian have promoted powerful MRI checkups costing thousands. The tech is expensive, yet the people most likely to have poor health are the least able to pay. People who can pay for it, they're already motivated to do so. They, you know, they are um, going to go and get those health scans done. They're probably doing some of these preventative behaviours anyway. Um, and people who don't are not able to pay out of pocket, it's going to be, you know, it is going to create those inequities there. The government wants to shift the NHS from treating disease to preventing ill health and save money by doing so. While there's been a revolution in health technology, the shift in mindset has yet to follow. Thomas Moore, Sky News.